Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Burris Restaurant was criticized by TikToker Keith Lee for the staff's actions when his family visited the restaurant this week. Lee is an extremely popular star on social media who reviews restaurants. He has over 14 million followers on TikTok alone. He has built a following off being authentic in his reviews, helping struggling restaurants find customers, and putting new spots on the map. For the past couple of days, Lee has been in Atlanta trying out different spots around town. Often, Lee will send his family to order takeout to avoid any restaurant giving him special treatment. He told his followers he wants to experience the same experience as everyone and doesn't allow any restaurant to bump him to the front of the line when others are waiting. On Sunday, Lee posted a video talking about his experience after his family went to Old Lady Gang in Atlanta. Lee and his family were at one music festival. He said someone who worked for Candy approached him and told him he had been trying to get him to come to Old Lady Gang to review the food but never heard back. However, in his video, Lee said he went to Old Lady Gang but didn't end up with any food. Lee said that his family tried to go ahead for takeout, but the numbers online were not working that were online. The TikTok star said they drove to the restaurant and asked to order takeout but were told they don't do takeout on the weekend. Lee's family decided to wait and sit down with the plan to take the food to Lee in the car after they received the food. The family said the wait was an hour to an hour and a half. Lee said the restaurant employee did not take the family's number or any contact information to reach them when the table was ready. Lee found out about his and decided to walk into the spot himself. The influencer said he walked in. He said patrons asked him to take photos. The restaurant employee then told Lee's family that his table was ready. Lee asked how they were able to sit him if the wait time was over an hour. He said they told him nobody was on the wait list, but Lee said that did not make sense with what they told his family originally before he walked in. The family then decided to leave the restaurant. He said he was frustrated with the process. As RadarOnline.com first reported, Candy and Todd's old lady gang had struggled for months to receive an A-health score. In March, the establishment finally received a glowing score after previously having a C rating since July 2021.